Hello everyone and welcome to Capital Watch for Friday, February 21st, our weekly look at the Missouri General Assembly. And joining us from our governmental relations offices in Jefferson City is our Associate Executive Director for Advocacy and our Chief Lobbyist, Mike Reed. And uh, Mike, one of the big events of this past week was our annual legislative forum in Jefferson City. And uh, we had a lot of our members uh, at the Capitol this week and uh, it was a good event, wasn't it? Oh, it was a great event. Uh, it was good to see a lot of our members down here. And this is what we're all about. We're about grassroots lobbying. And this is uh, the prime example of that. Elected officials working with other elected officials and telling them how their actions in Jefferson City affect the students in the state of Missouri. So it was a great day. Uh, I, I think people got a lot out of the programs that were there and it was good to see a lot of our members here. And among the speakers at our legislative forum this year, Mike, was Governor Jay Nixon. Uh, the governor came over and spoke to us about uh, a number of issues going on, not the least of which is the tax cut issue. And uh, he's been working with uh, Senator Will Krause on uh, a, a proposal uh, that would uh, allow for some tax cuts, but with some conditions attached. And he talked about some of those conditions during his remarks. Let's take a look at that right now. We cannot and will not jeopardize the best economic development tool we have, public education to that end. I will not support any tax cut of any site that, uh, that prevents us from fully funding its state's K-12 foundation formula. We're on our way to getting it funded, and we need to get that done. Um, you know. <laughs> and uh, Mike, certainly that's something that uh, we would agree with as well, uh, fully funding the formula before we consider any tax cuts. And yet uh, we did have some tax cut bills move out of the House of Representatives this week. Tell us about those. Yes, two bills passed the, uh, the House this week. Uh, and, and again, our position has always been, as we continue to talk to the members of the General Assembly, uh, please fully fund the tax, fully fund the formula until, before you have a tax cut. Uh, you have made an obligation to the students of the state of Missouri. This obligation was made in 2005 to fund the foundation formula to fund education in Missouri. Uh, the bills that were passed uh, have some corporate income tax reductions and some uh, individual income tax reductions. Uh, they, they passed both with uh, more than 100 votes, uh, so there's going to be an uphill battle. But the governor has stated that uh, until the foundation formula is funded, uh, these bills will be vetoed. Uh, we are not against uh, cutting taxes. We're for meeting the responsibilities that have been made and promised to the students of the state of Missouri. So where do we stand on the tax cut issue on the Senate side now, Mike? Well, it's uh, uh, the, the Senate tax bill has uh, been debated and, and put on hold. Uh, these bills will come over. Uh, I imagine that these will be the ones that will be discussed first. Um, so it, it will be some time before we see what happens. Uh, normally, House bills do not get debated in the Senate until after spring break. However, since these tax bills are a high priority of leadership, uh, they may be debated uh, within the next month. We also had some uh, action this week on funding for our schools for the next fiscal year. Mike, on the House side, tell us about that. Yes, the, uh, uh, the House uh, committee added $100 million to, uh, to fund public education for the next year, $100 million more. Uh, it's not what the governor asked. Uh, it's more than uh, what was in last year. So we're still working on this. It's a, this is a still a work in progress. We want as much money as we possibly can. Uh, there is, as you know, there is a, a difference of opinion on revenue estimates between the House and Senate and the governor's office. Uh, both, they both have different ideas of how much money is going to come in. Uh, the House Senate is working off their numbers. Uh, but $100 million is a good start. We will keep pushing to have more money put into it. Uh, it's not as much as what the governor recommended, but we still keep trying to get as much as we possibly can. And Mike, we also had some significant movement this week on an issue we've been following and, and that we've been very much involved in, and that is the issue related to unaccredited school districts and student transfers currently going on in the St. Louis area, and uh, that could happen in the Kansas City area as well. Uh, the Senate Education Committee uh, did approve a bill on that uh, this week. Tell us about that. The Senate Education Committee did approve a bill. It took uh, a number of pieces from various bills that are out there uh, and, and is a start. Uh, this is the start of the discussion. Uh, 
but uh, student transfer is still in there. There's, there are limits on the amount of money that may, be, uh, that may go with the student. One of the troubling parts of this piece of legislation and something we have to look at is that it allows students to, in unaccredited districts to transfer to non-sectarian schools uh, and paid for with the local tax money. Uh, that is something that uh, we must look at very closely. It, is this the camel's uh, nose in the tent? Um, it, is a, it is a question that we have to look at very closely. There are a number of pieces in this, and it's just the start of, uh, of a long discussion between the House and the Senate uh, dealing with the, the student transfer issue. Uh, this bill does, though, uh, look at accrediting school buildings in provisionally accredited and unaccredited districts. And so the district would not be accredited or unaccredited, it would be the building in the district that would be accredited and unaccredited, which is a, a new way to look at things. And Mike, do you expect that bill to be debated on the Senate floor soon? Yes, I do. Uh, it may be debated this week. Um, and, that, and it may be you know, maybe two weeks, but it will be coming up very shortly. Uh, the uh, sponsor of the bill, as well as Senator Dempsey, uh, the leader of the Senate, want this bill to be finished before spring break. Another issue that came up this week, Mike, has to do with uh, school funding for the current fiscal year and the possible need for a supplemental appropriation uh, in order to achieve the funding level that's been uh, promised. Tell us about that. That's right. Uh, there is a, as there's a question. Uh, the people that we work with believe that there is as much as a $66 million shortfall, uh, maybe not quite that much. We, the governor is asking for $44 million included for uh, money to finish out paying schools for this current fiscal year in the supplemental budget. Uh, members of the House Committee looking at this have said that they believe that the money will be coming in by the end of the year and there is no need for this $44 million uh, included. Uh, we, we disagree with that. We think that there is a, a real question and we would like to see this $44 million put in the supplemental budget uh, to make sure that schools are not left on the hook at the end of the fiscal year uh, and have to cut something uh, that has previously been promised. Mm -hmm. And Mike, the reason for this uh, shortfall is a uh, shortfall of uh, money coming in from the lottery and riverboat gaming, is that right? That is correct. Uh, the, the question is, is how much money is gonna come in from riverboat uh, gaming and, and the lottery? Um, and we believe it's, it's short. Uh, lottery officials believe that they can get the money in there. Um, but, you know, we again, uh, we want to make sure that it is there, that what has been promised. Mm -hmm. Mike, lots of uh, big issues happening here at this point in the General Assembly. What can we look forward to this coming week? Oh, there are a lot of issues that have gone through. Um, we can look forward to this coming week, uh, more work on the student transfer question. Uh, discussion, uh, the discussion was this week on the Common Core and this Common Core Standards. Uh, I think there'll be a vote on that next week. More work on the budget, uh, as well as uh, tax cut bills and discussion on where those go. Um, so gearing up an awful lot. There are, I think, three weeks until spring break. This is a time of push and a crunch time. Um, so with, we need our members to, to keep informed of what's happening. Watch this program, watch for emails and e-blasts, and, uh, and call us with any questions. Mike Reed, as always, thanks a lot for being with us, and we will be keeping you informed, not only through this program, but through our Legislative Voice weekly newsletter you receive every Friday and our daily updates on our uh, website, as well as any critical issue alerts as uh, the need arises for them. Thanks a lot for joining us on this edition of MSBA's Capital Watch.